filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I'm a training officer uh, for L.A. County Sheriff's Department, and my job out here is to, uh, to take a new deputy and train him as far as procedure, uh, uh, criminal law, and to uh, show him the, how to uh, survive out here on patrol. All uh, right, now we're into a, we're in route to a spousal assault call. A female called and say her husband was uh, abusing her and she was pulled from the phone, so the deaths uh, lost contact with her. So it's a code three roll. We have uh, two backup units responding also. 72, 97A. What is this? Number three, gold three. possible 272. 26. Call to her husband was abusing her, then was pulled from the phone. No answer to call back. Take 620. Get it? Right on here. Which one is it? Can you call, ma'am? Yeah. What's the problem? The guy in the white t-shirt? Yeah. Where? What happened? He been dragging on me. He been deep drunk. He been drinking that stuff that makes it smell like shark. Mm -hmm. PCP? It's some stuff in a red bottle. Okay. And then when you drink it, it smells like, you know, and I had sherm. Look like, you know, slow sherm or something. Mm -hmm. And he drunk. And he, that car right there is broke. He can't get it fixed. And he taped it out on me. He been well, dragging me. What did he do to you? He been dragging me. He threw me out my chair tonight. He been dragging me up and down through him, pooping, putting his hand on my mouth where I couldn't hardly stop. Who, who is this man? Your husband, your boyfriend, or what? My caretaker. Your caretaker? Yeah. Your caretaker's treating you like that? Yeah. OK, why don't you, why don't you roll back inside? Did he hit you anywhere? He hit me when I was trying to call oh, y'all. He hit me with that big old booty guy. Where did he hit you? Right up here. Did he hit you in the eye there? Oh, he, he hit me right here with that big booty head. On. I see a little scar here on your eye. Did he do that? Yeah, that's what he hit me. When you see one, that's what he hit me at. With a boot? Well, the big, we got on some big black boots. What, he picked it up and hit you? He kicked hey. He had one in his hand and had the other on. What's his name? Kenny Lee. Kenny Lee. What's that? Beer? Ash. Yes. Does he smoke this stuff? He smoke cocaine. He smoke cocaine? Old English. He smoke rock cocaine? Yeah. Right? Where does he keep it? Did you keep it in the house? No, he, he go out and smoke it. OK. We're going to get you some information and everything. We're going to hang out okay. in the parking lot. We're going to see if he'll come back home in the next few minutes. OK. OK? OK. So you sure you don't need paramedics or anything? Uh, all right, now. You all right? OK. We'll, we'll be right outside. Right now, we're just going to back up here in the parking lot and black out while we get our reports. and. Uh, emergency uh, protective order together. And maybe he'll come walking home. And we can get w rid of him for tonight, at least. There he is, right there in the car. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you can't What's up, man? Come on over here. We need to talk. Sure do, man. Put your hands right over here. Hey, man, put your hands right on me, man. Put your hands right here on the car. 
Go pee with Gio or something? Put your hands on the car. You're going to either go peacefully or we're gonna, you're going to go the hard way. Which way you want to go? Which way you want to go? Well, we're going to peace with you, uh, man. OK, well, put your hands right here on the car. What y'all want from me, man? What y'all want from me, man? Anyway, all this there. What y'all want from me, man? You beat up your, you beat up your, your girl over there, right? No, I hate this, man. No, I have it. No, I have it. No, I have it. He'll do all that. Here you go. No, I have it. No, I have it. No, Get down. Get down. Here you go. Get down. I will. I will. Get down. What you need, man? No, I will, man. Get down. Do all that, man. Don't know about it, girl. Get on your knees, man. Get on your knees. Get on your knees, or we're gonna spray you again. Come on now, sir. You do all that to me, sir. Let's go. Drop down on your knees, or we're gonna spray you again. Hold on, you do all that to me, man. Get on your knees. Oh, you do all that. Oh, man. Don't get up. Don't, don't, don't stand up, okay? what? Come here, come here. Put your hands up, man. Come here. Turn around. Oh, serve what, man? Hold on. Serve what, man? Get down. Put your hands behind your back. Stay back. Mark on the king, man. Mark on the king. 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 Down the ground, man. Mark on the king. Mark on the king. Mark on the king. Mark on the king. Put your hands behind your back. Kenny! I will! Put your hands behind your back. I will! Put your hands behind your back. Hey, man. Why, why is it something you like to... Hey, man. Relax. Not one. Hey, man. Relax. Oh, you good all the time? I got this one. I got this one. Okay. Right there, I got this one. Okay. This what it is? You... Hey, Y'all see him? Hey, look, you're gonna go. Look, look, listen, listen. You see him? Y'all see him? You both? And you both? We're gonna put him down. Put him down. Put him down. We get the hobble. I ain't got a hobble on me. Get down. Do you hear me? You gonna walk or you wanna see? Hell no. You don't wanna walk? Let's not see I'm here with you. You said what I said, man, dog. I don't have time for it. Put his feet down. Put his feet down. Stand up, man. Stand up. Get that sir. Listen, you be you, you real hard here. Yeah, yeah, with the you or not? You real hard here. What we're gonna do? We're gonna take him to jail for for jumping on his his uh his wife. He wants to challenge us to a fight. We're not here to fight him, so you know. So to keep us from beating him down, we would rather spray him with pepper spray. And you see the reaction we get when we use it. It works. Uh, this area rampart division, it's one of the smallest uh, divisions in the city. It's uh, 6.8 square miles. It's uh, one of the busiest divisions. It's got the highest crime rate, highest amount of gangs. And for the last couple of years, we've had the most uh, homicides occur in our division. So there's a lot of action out there, and uh, obviously enough to keep us busy. I was in the military for four years. Infantry, I didn't see any action there, so I thought I'd come out here and see some. Uh, right now we're in, in route to back a unit. Uh, it has a violent male uh, mental. Apparently it's a uh, juvenile who's uh, schizophrenic. Uh, the officer's there now and he's refusing to comply with their uh, their demands. So they requested a backup and they requested a unit to respond with the uh, taser. Taser is an electronic device used to stun a, a person that might be under the influence of narcotics or who's violent. And the officers don't want to get too close up to him in order to prevent uh, the officers from getting uh, hurt. Four five, Roger. Four five. This guy's in. We've been here a number of times, but this time he's got a knife to his throat. He's sitting on the couch in the, in the corner, just to the right of where uh, Bob is at. Uh, they tried talking with him, and he said, just get the hell off my property. I love you. No, I love you. I know. 
Okay, then come out. The police, they want to talk to you, honey. What about... Don't you care about your own son? Don't you love him? Listen to me. Please listen. Listen to me, honey. I love you. I don't want you to get hurt. The, the police are not going to hurt you. They want to speak to you. Only to speak to you. What is that? He's picking it up. Oh, he's got it to his neck again. Come on, I'll talk to you. Put the knife down. No. I love you. Put the knife down. We can no. help you out. No. No. Put the knife down. What do you want? Down. Just no. put the knife down. Why don't you come no. out and talk to us? Honey. Why? I want to slice my jugular away. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I, you guys are bothering me. We're not going to bother you. We're here to help you. No, get out of here. No, we're here to okay, help okay, you. Okay, I'll slice it. No, don't slice I'll it. I'll slice it. No. Give me the knife. One. Two. Why don't you tell us how we can help you? Okay, get out of here. Is, is there, like my partner said, is there a way we can help you? Okay, so go ahead. God loves you, and your child loves you, and I love you. And this is very stupid, okay? I want you to use your brain. This is very stupid. Give me that knife now. Give it to me. No, give it to me. You're not going to jail. No. No, 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 no. We won't. You're not going to go to jail. All right, we will take you someplace that will help you. We will take you to a doctor that will go and help you. No, I guarantee you will not go to jail. Get out of here. I don't want to. I don't want to go to jail. We're not going to go to jail. Listen to me. No, no, hang on, hang on. No, no, no. Listen, you're not going to go to jail. Watch the door. Watch the door. Watch the door. Okay, he's locking it. He's locking it. He's locking it. Just okay. Come and talk to me over here. Talk to me over here. talk to me over here. Why, why do you want to hurt yourself, man? All right, I'm going to talk to him on the phone. Maybe that'll help. So what we have here is the guy's barricaded inside right now. He's sitting down behind the door and he's got a knife uh, up to his heart right now. He's been going back from the throat to the heart. So what we're going to try and do now is, like you heard the sergeant say, he's going to try and make a phone call inside right now, get him away from the door, and hopefully he'll put the, the knife down. If he does put the knife down, we're going to go ahead and knock the door in and do a swarm cut. I'm fighting my I'm fighting my jacket Hang on, guys. This is Sergeant Blackburn of the police department. I'm outside. How are you? Okay. What's going on tonight? Well, what would you like? It's all right. I'm going to call back. His number was... He's not coming out. He's just... I'll tell you what, guys. Hey, let's back off a little bit. Hello. Hi, this is Sergeant Blackburn again. Hey, don't hang up to me. I, I want to talk to you for a minute, okay? We got a couple of minutes here to talk? All righty? Okay? Listen, what can I do for you tonight? I want to help you out if I can. All right, he's here. Well, no, you don't want to do that. I want... If he starts to cut himself, I'm going to have... If he starts to cut himself, Zamora will take you in with the taser. Who's your partner? You are... And uh, your partner is who? Brian. You and he, all right, we'll send four in. We'll tase him if he starts to cut himself. Tase him and then we'll swarm him, okay? The only thing you gotta remember is to shut off that thing so they can swarm him when we get him under control with the taser. If he doesn't go under control with the taser and he's still got that knife in his hand it's not, and he's not under control, then we're not gonna try to jump on him with that knife because he's able to stab somebody here or cut somebody here. I'm gonna hit him with two darts. That's all right. That's all right. Don't worry. Don't worry. Well, what they're gonna do now is they, they just wanna get everybody back, turn off all the radios, see if, uh, kinda act like we're not here. Maybe it'll calm him down and maybe he'll just come out on his own. Maybe he'll put the knife down. Apparently, we had additional information that he took some medication and uh, hopefully the medication will kick in and and he'll uh, put the knife down and maybe fall asleep. You know, when he has the knife up to his uh, throat and everything, he's, he's real shaky. You know, in my opinion, I really don't think he, he wants to kill himself. Uh, apparently, he dropped the knife. Swarm. Okay, 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 ok
it's an alleged battery, which is a misdemeanor, and with good ID, he could be uh, released on his own recognizance. But this way, if we do a 72-hour uh, mental hold on him, he'll have a three-day evaluation done on him, and this will buy his girlfriend more time to seek better professional help for him. The reason I became a police officer when I was 11 years old, I got robbed at knife point um, at a place called Farmer's Market down in L.A. And uh, I was down there yelling and screaming for help. Nobody would help. And then when the police finally came, I always remembered that safe feeling that I felt when uh, the police officer came. And from that point on, I always knew that I wanted to be a police officer from age 11 on. Hey, Don, I'm going to check that car way up there by uh, Van Owen. Why don't you slow down on the side streets here and see if they come out. Uh, we had some guys playing around on a car. One guy was on the hood of a car. They were, uh, saw us, and by the time we got this car in gear, they're, they're usually gone. They usually make the first right turn when they're trying to get away. But maybe they're drunk and don't know the rules. Hey, Don, the guy's still on the hood, man. <laughs> hey Don, if he runs, we'll cover the car. You take off after him. Get ready. Come up on my left. Come up on my left. Hey, let me see. Stop right there. Let me see your hands. Walk this way. Hey Don, go around with uh, Dan, will you? I'll cover the car with Ho. Get him down on his knees, Dan. Get out of the car, man. We'll talk to you as soon as you get out of the car. Uh, 92, we're on a traffic stop on uh, Balboa, north of Roscoe, Roscoe, 1 Lincoln Ocean Victor, 197. Can you run that, please? Interlock your hands. Put your hands together. OK, walk back towards my voice. Keep walking back. OK. OK, that's fine. Now put your hands on the hood of my car. Okay, don't move, okay? What's your name, dear? What happened? He's my boyfriend. Right. He was my boyfriend. I was fighting with him. Okay. And then he wouldn't let me leave, so he jumped on my car, and I told him I was going to leave, so he wouldn't get off of my car, so I kept on going. You're going way fast. Well, he doesn't want to get off okay. of my car. You know? Okay, why don't we get out of the street and come over here so we don't get hit? So what was he saying to you? How long have you guys been dating for? For like four years. You ever lived together? No. Do you have any children together? No. Okay. Has he been drinking tonight a little bit? Mm -hmm. Is that what's making him do this? Really? Well, so what were you guys fighting about? No, he didn't want to cheat on me. He cheated on you? So you wanted to leave and he didn't want you to leave, so he jumped on the hood of your car. So you've been driving around with him on the hood of your car from Haynes and Havenhurst? Mm -hmm. And we saw you at Balboa? Mm -hmm. That's what I, I wasn't going to take him to the police station myself. You were going to take him to the police station okay. yourself? Okay. Okay, Flacco, explain to me what happened. I know that I got her side of the story, now I got... It's just, it's just something that I had in mind and stuff, because my kid is coming. So she's pregnant with your child? Yes, well, she says she's pregnant with my child. She didn't tell me that. She didn't tell you that? No. She tell you. I said, do you have any babies together, or are you living together, or anything well, we like that? A, we had a first kid, but the rest is in peace right now. I understand. Baby, how, how long did how the baby how old was the baby when it passed? Right now, it's like, I've only been out for three months and since I was locked up. And like, how old was the baby when it passed away? A good almost three years. Three years. So you have had a child together. I have a child. Okay, but well, what's bothering you here? It's hurt because I got bad wrist. Okay, well, hang on a sec. If you're still a little skinny like Flacco, you probably wouldn't have these problems. <laughs> You went, you went to prison and you got buffed, huh? What's up? See what happens? You got to get a new nickname. You got to change a tattoo on your arm. No, I ain't banging no more. No? No more banging? Okay, is that one better there? Okay, hang on. I can only do one at a time. I only got one key. Okay, do, do you have any questions about anything? I think I already... I need you to face want, the car for me. I don't want to do it. Just go home with me. Okay. I, I can't do that right now because I witnessed something that was very dangerous. You understand? Go talk to car. Well, we'll give you an opportunity a little later to take care of it. Right now, I'm going to have you go sit in those other officers' car for me, okay? All right, come over here. You understand the, the seriousness of this, even though you're just getting a ticket for this? Yes, I do. We're going to take a report saying that you two 
have a have had a child together and that you guys got in an argument tonight and it's going to be titled domestic violence and this is the way we're going to deal with this yeah i got it Flacco, I thought we had an understanding, Flacco. How old are you, man? Flacco, I thought we had an understanding. Flacco wants to go to jail. Flacco, why do you want to go to jail? Man? We found an easy way to resolve this, and now you want to go to She wants to talk to you. Okay. You'd be cool with me, Flacco? Take my hand, man. Flacco. Take me in, Okay, all right. Just put it in my car. You going to sign your ticket? Yes or no? You want to you sign your ticket, yes or no? What do you want to sign it for, man? If you don't want to sign it, then you'll go to jail. If you want to sign it, you're free to go. Put your free hand on your head. And don't move. OK, put your hands down. OK, this is a ticket for riding on the hood of Veronica's car. Sign your name right there for me. All right, see you later, Flacco. That was wild, huh, partner? <laughs> that, that was, I've never seen anything like that. That, that was, uh, that was something to do for love that I don't think I've ever really thought about. Should have cited him for no seatbelt. <laughs> More from cops at five tomorrow. But next this afternoon, we look at the winter storm that turned out to be one of the worst in Canada's history. And that's bad. Stay with us for Storm Stories.